Hello viewers, welcome to my channel of biotechnology tutorial and research lab. Hope that reward is fine. Title of my presentation today, production of biofuel, its engine performance and emissions test from waste oil, algae and dead fruits biomass. This is very interesting topics nowadays. Before starting, you are requested to be subscribed to my channel to find latest and updated as well as innovative research data in my channel in future. Let's move to my topic. Richard's background. Okay, let's start. The use of renewable energy is a better chance the global warming use is caused by using excessive fossil fuels. Renewable clean energy and power resource fuel are required for sharing with fossil fuels to reduce the carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide emissions. Common agricultural feedstocks or waste such as waste of sugar cans, potatoes, fine, fine apples, wild crops, algae, maize, rice debris can be used to produce bioethanol or biodiesel. Bioethanol has been increased from 3.7 to 5.4 percent in 2007 and 2008. Dates fruits are the most successful and important substances in fruits in Arab region as well as arid and semi arid region of the world. But dates are rich in certain nutrients, high carbon dioxide, and fats. Every year, a lot of dates can be dropped and lost of productions. So, this, this waste debt can be used for converting the bioenergy or biomaterials or organic or natural products to produce organic and natural products. So this is the most important fair stock nowadays. We can see a global warming pollutions by emitting smokes from vehicles, different types of vehicles, smokes. Emission exist, exist in China, pollutions, environmental environment polluted by car smoke in India, environment polluted by smokes from ships, and pollutions by bus smokes. This is the we can see polluted environment movements be difficult. So the smokes exhaust by car emissions in Nepal, also pollutions in Bangladesh also pollution in Malaysia. We can see different types of the image. So environment is polluted by excessive vehicle emissions. We can see here Beijing, Moscow, Pakistan, India and other countries, UK, also other European countries. So greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, hydrocarbon gases increases by vehicle emissions. So this is more, this is dangerous for our uh, health. Greenhouse gases increases and affect human health, causing inhaling problems. This is the causing and inhaling problems of children or other people in China or also other countries. We can see the image, very bad image. Air pollution and global warming. We can see here pollution controls. Malaysia, also Beijing, also others, Bangkok, Thailand, India. We can see the image. The environment can be polluted by the different uh, types of smokes, especially car and truck smokes. Currently, by 2009 emissions, different types of energy. We can see uh, China, USA, India, Russia, 
Japan, Germany, Canada, UK, Australia, Malaysia, Lebanon. Sobras emission from fuel consumption, International Energy Agency 2010, they reported this. So the highest pool, you got the highest uh, polluted country in China, then USA, then others India, and other countries, and Japan, Russia, uh, Russia. So this is so all, nowadays all over the world uh, environment can be polluted uh, by this waste so we have to manage the waste and can be converted to the energy or bioproducts there are toxic emissions from on roads mobiles we can see a different percent gas gas 14 percent diesel other gases and also trucks and many vans 44 percent you can see here different sources of biofuels, biofuels and biodiesels, bioethanols and syn gas. Biodiesels is oil, fat bearing biomasses like and the bioethanol is starch, sugar and cellulose based biomasses and syn gas is biopower and uh, fuel cell based bioethanol. The syn gas can be used fuel cell and biopower uh, fuel cell and then here we can see this type of uh, oil bearing biomasses, waste, vegetable oil, soybean, palm, sunflower, corn, rice, bran, etc. Animal fats, uh, chicken guards, fish oil, waste, fish oil, this is, and then also others, starch, sugar, cellulose bearing crops, orange, waste, palm, dates, biomass, dead seeds, cooking garbage, sugar can biomass, sugar beet, biomass husk, corn, shale, algae biomasses, pineapple, fields or biomasses, banana skin and biomasses, waste, potato, pulp and field means waste, mango, pulp means mango waste, also different types of crops, fruits and vegetables. So this is the uh, sources. You can see available biomass sources also, types of biomasses, wood fuel, rubbish, alcohol fuels, crops and landfill, wood, wood, wood biomasses, corn stock biomass, corn biomass, sawdust biomasses, leaf biomasses, different types of biomass. You can see here, there is a flow, uh, flow sheet of methanol, hydrogen or empty diesel productions, by gasification of biomass, this is biomass start and different types of throw, bioprocess technology, and repair, for shifting or carbon separations, and by gasifications, we can produce methanol, hydrogen, empty diesels and electricity generations. Yeah, biomass flow diagrams also. Other scientists, Sumathi, to seven, to from biomass, we can uh, produce bioproducts, materials and uh, absorbent materials, biomaterials, uh, and organic materials, and then biofuels, and geometric hydrolysis, lignin products, biopower, pyrolysis and gasifications, biopower. So this is the products, fuel, chemicals, materials, heat and power can be produced. And fuel, uh, biofuel cell to generate electricity by electricity. Uh, by, uh, this is called the, the fuel cell, by using fuel cells. Biology flow chart, we can see here the same, almost different types of uh, landfill gas, also others, anaerobic digestions, or uh, different types of the solid waste biomass, uh, electricity, heat, and it can be produced from wood residue also it can be used semi-solid solid electricity production from biofuels so they are here solid waste and recycling materials solid waste kitchen waste semi-solid waste this is the solid waste also you can see algae the algae waste zathropa and then uh, manual uh, react, uh, reactor sugar can husk or waste paper waste and then sugar can this is the meal waste. You can see here uh, biomaterials and bioethanols, biopower, uh, different types of the biofuel uh, bio cell to generate bioelectricity. Then here uh, biofuel cell, microbes, uh, microbial fuel cell to generate electricity. A microbial fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy to electri elect electrical energy by the uh, catalytic reaction of microorganisms like yeast and bacteria. So this is the fuel cell 
using the this power source cathode and order cathode and this is the membrane this is called the ion membrane from membrane follows the power using full cells the significant waste management result in fossil renewable and sustainable energy saving environment economically benefits this is the significance environmental benefits the biodiesels to reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide hydrocarbon sulfur dioxide by fuel us 2006 mentioned this and then economic arguments it is increasing apparently that small scale localized low impact energy keep more resources within communities reduce damage to the environment and requires the waste management and requires waste management then by first chart we can see here uh, our energy produced because this is the photosynthesis from the sun sunlight plants crops fruits and biomasses their primary producer the secondary producer this is the plant primary producer secondary producer man animal pets biomass and then vegetable crops kitchen animals pets and biomasses then from these biomasses waste to island biomasses we can produce this from the uh, we can produce biodiesel and biothermal from this waste and then biofuel cell electricity production also then used uh, used by vehicles vehicles and heat energy uh, and then engine start so engine start and engine run uh, engine run so this is the about bioenergy flow chart again then the carbon dioxide come out to the environment and then plants accept this carbon dioxide this is called the bioenergy flow chart Hussain et al 2007 we introduce this chart so this is carbon dioxide reduction flow chart of biodiesel and bioethanol using algae 2008 uh, which are natural 2008 also we introduce this this is the energy sources algae this is the oil extractions where well, this is the uh, residue protein residue so, uh, this is called bioethanol and the electricity productions and biodiesels from the uh, oil, oil uh, extracted oil from algae and then glycerins for are produced then biofuels renewable fuels can be used existing technology in the car then carbon dioxide come out to the environment again algae uh, accept this carbon dioxide and so this is the and release the uh, oxygen so this is the also called the chart uh, carbon dioxide reduction flow chart The so photo to shows kitchen and cooking garbage, different types of garbage here we can see different types and uh, can be used as well as oil. Present status of biothermal biodiesel in Norway, the benzene 95 they, they are using now uh, the 5% biothermal with the petrol. Present status of biothermal also, others countries also in terms of 5%, 10%, 15%, 25% also they are uh, using uh, biothermal. So this is the different, uh, different countries, European countries also they are using this type of biothermal. Germany, Malaysia and Brazil they are using biothermal biodiesel, biodiesel fuels, also Brazil, also Ohio, USA, they are you know, biodiesel. Objectives of the research to produce cheap and convenient diesel and the biothermal from the waste oil, rotten dead foods, and seed biomasses to supply energy from non foods, crops, biomasses, waste to run vehicles, small things run in terms of fuel shortage to convert easily and used cooking oil or biomasses into a biodiesel to save environment from greenhouse gas emissions to reduce the energy emissions of harmful pollutants to generate power electricity from dead biomasses. You can see a collections of the samples from the student frying oils was filtered and mixing alcohol, methyl alcohol and catalyst coming after mixing oils with alcohols, methyl and catalyst. Then this is the transcription process. You can see here uh, three hours after transcription process, biethanol, methyl ester and the glycerin were, were produced. After reaction, it was kept one night for settle down, separation of biodiesel and glycerol, methyl ester, dry washed by magnesium carbonate and then drying 55 degrees centigrade incubator and the storage so this is following parameters 
viscosity, biodiesel yield, methyl ester, chemical elements analysis, and then emission test. Then we can see uh, results, biodiesel yield, different sources. The biodiesel in the farm oils and canal oils, it was, it was higher than soybeans and rice brown oil. Here also you can see farm oil, canola and rice brown oil, viscosity was higher in farm oil than other three oils. Then here total uh, acid number also uh, higher in farm oil, soybean and rice bran than canola. Then chemical analysis also we can see here different types of chemicals. It was under the um, uh, standard uh, farm, soybean, rice bran, canola under the standard of STM. Then types of uh, then engine emission test, then using 20 percent waste farm oil, soybean, canola, rice bran oil. Fuel oil 20% farm oil diesel soybean canola rice bran and the different types of fuel hydrocarbon carbon oxide nitrous oxide so you can see here the, the it was less than the it was less uh, in, 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 in biodiesel than fuel fuel diesels you can see here the results so uh, this is the difference uh, peak conversion rate 99% 97.8% total Conversion rates you can see yeah, different types of uh, this is the glycerin, this is the upper layer, yeah, is the uh, methyl ester biodiesels. Then you can see here yeah, different types of biodiesels layer. Photograph shows the engine emissions. Now, biodiesel production from fresh water algae is spare wire species. Better by algae or collected from the University of Malaya, lakes, oil extraction, the algal. Where air, 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 air dried and ground in a mortar and pesto before extraction with hexen and ether. Then also hexen and ether, 70 percent of the samples to extract the oil. The mixture was kept for 72 hours for setting, uh, settling. The biomass was then collected after filtration and weight. Evaporation of the extracted oil was evaporated in vacuum to release hexen and uh, ether using a rotary evaporator. Biodiesel Production of the mix of catalyst and the methanol, 5% of the sodium hydroxide alone, and 5% of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide together mixed with 120 ml methanol was poured into and started in the, the algal, uh, algae 1 into C, uh, 3 uh, algae and methanol ratio in a conical plaques and it stirred for one hour. Transdustification the conical plaques was then shaken for four hours using an electric shaker at 300 rpm after shaking the solutions was kept for 24 days to settle the biodiesel was carefully separated um, and uh, from sediments by a flux separator the volume of the sediments glycerin pigments and biodiesel was measured washed out the biodiesel was washed out five percent water until it was clean and dried and it is sitting in an oven for two hours. The biodiesel product was measured by using measuring cylinder and stored for analysis. You can see here algae collections from there. This is my, my PhD and MSc student. Uh, he already completed PhD. And this is drying, algae drying, and this is extraction of algae oil after oil extraction. The oil separations from biomass. This is biomass. Uh, this is biomass and this is the oil. Some justification shaking and for this uh, biodiesel. This is the biodiesel. This is the shaking. So, this is the biodiesel production process from LV. The other discussion you can see here uh, fresh weight 4.2 kg 100%, dry weight 2 kg 49.2%, extracted oil uh, 200, uh, 200 for 1 gram, it means 10%. Uh, extracted oil and then biomass sediment means uh, 90%. So, th this extracted oil can be used for fire diesel and this sediment biomass can be used for the bioethanol. So, two, two fuels one is biodiesel, one is bioethanol. Fatty, uh, fatty acid methyl ester and the conversion rate are determined from fresh uh, what algae by using the CMS single uh, catalyst and mixture. This is the peak 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 is the peak. Fatty acid, methyl ester, different types of palmolic acid, steric acid, olic acid, linoleic acid. The same palmolic acid, steric acid, olic acid, nilolic acid. 
so this is total land to 1.5 percent we got the peak the first day relatives so this is uh, biodiesel yield catalyst a b sodium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide plus product product mixture it, it was higher in the mixture than the, the, the catalyst uh, single catalyst so sodium hydroxide also here viscosity was higher in, in the mixture of mixture of catalyst than single catalyst and then here we can see total acid number also higher in single catalyst than mix up catalyst so it is good it seems it is uh, very good uh, biodiesel for this biodiesel so here metal content of biodiesel produced under optimum conditions in contrast with standard values stm standard and en standard whereas sodium calcium magnesium potassium so others uh, more than 10 15 ppm some others so uh, th this is all about the uh, under the standard uh, so our analysis was very good so this is the biothermal production of water dates with uh, identification and implementation of the petrol engine yeah, it's the implementation so in the petrol engine we can see here rotten dates so but same materials and method uh, we use here uh, yeast sacrament and celibacy and fermentation methods mm. and different uh, conditions so here also fermentation process group with and yeast here used and then we can see here different types of the rotten dates separation of pulp and seeds and uh, grindings and then fermentation process grindings fermentation process raw bioethanol raw bioethanol is the filtrations so this is the results and discussion we can see here uh, 20 30 40 uh, issue was uh, increasing when water was increased uh, by uh, it increased so here uh, in 5.8 aph it, it was the highest so here we can see uh, by it was highest was the highest in 4 gram per liter east different days 4 days it, it is the highest you can see here uh, total soluble solid PSN glucose content east uh, initial east to east to is 5 it is highest in this 5 soluble solids and then pH also uh, uh, decreasing from initial and then also glucose control also decreasing from initial decreasing so uh, viscosity and acid below so it was uh, under STM standard and EN standard so by the from dead seeds by masses different types of yeast, yeast cellulose amylase uh, 0.5 grams and 1 grams so it is uh, almost uh, same in, in 0.1 grams is uh, it is higher in, in 0.1 grams than 0.5 grams so uh, engine emissions Sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, and hydrocarbon was less than 100% gasoline. Was less in biodiesel than 100% gasoline. It means by bioethanol and 5% bioethanol, 10% bioethanol we used, and it was less in 5% 10% bioethanol than 100% gasoline. So this is good result. Also 5% 10% ethanol gasoline. Uh, this is called uh, fuel, fuel consumption also less uh, compared to the uh, control. Here also carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide also less compared to the control. So it means our this is the showing the engine emissions test in Proton Malaysia car. Uh, the multi cylinder engine, Proton Malaysia car multi cylinder engine and, and 2000 RPM, 1 hour up. So from the result, uh, we can say it is very good, uh, uh, good uh, uh, biodiesel quality or biofuel quality, waste cooking oil, algae and rotten fruits, uh, the fruit and the seeds are. An economic choice for biodiesel biofuel productions waste can be recycled to clean the environment having this technology and energy can be renewed and sustained uh, it's used lead to a lower fuel consumption and reduced emissions of the environmental uh, unfriendly gases namely carbon dioxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide hydrocarbon and nitrous oxide the production of biodiesel and biofuel obtained from these uh, waste sources can be used as transformation fuel bending with uh, for diesel and electricity 
uh, bioelectricity fuel cells from biomasses based bioethanol. So uh, this is publications on our some publications on, on uh, biofuels and biodiesels. Also our some publications of presentation proceedings. Presentation proceedings. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, for listening, and subscribing our channel. Thank you again.